Hello guys, welcome to next lesson for this series. In the previous lesson, we created our first model called user. So in this lesson, we will create our first user and then store it into our database. Okay, so now let's jump in. Let's move to our server route, server.js, where we have all our routes. You have a way to refactor this so i want to create the first user and then we refactor it to it file okay so now we want to create as a user inside our node or express application so what do we need first we have to configure express so that we're able to pass an incoming data Okay, by default, Express doesn't give us that feature that we can create or pass in a data into our server through a route without configuring our server a little bit. So what we are going to do is that we are going to make use of what is called middleware. Okay, middleware is a function that runs before our handler runs. Okay, so this is how we're going to configure our express to pass body pass data from our body of request okay so let's make let me say that um passing body data so how to make use of app dot use and then i have to make use of express dot json as a function as that so by configuring this, what you are telling Express is that we want to pass an incoming data as a JSON file. Okay, so now that this is the line that we need to write to be able to pass an incoming request from our application. So next, let's delete everything here. Okay, and since creating user involves database Definitely, we need to handle it as a promise. So, because of that, I will make use to make use of async await, right? So, I will mark my function here as async, and then I have to try catch it here. And inside my try, this is where I'm going to create my first user. Okay. So, before that, let's try to do something here. So here. In Express, we have what is called request.body. Okay, this request.body holds data that is coming into our route handler. So, before that, let's try to console log rec.body here. So, I will just make use of console.log and say rec.body like that. So when I visit this route and I pass in any data, it will print it into inside my terminal. So how can we pass data into this route, right? So what we need is, let's go to Postman and then make that request. So we come to register user and here we want to pass in a data they want to create. So what do we need? We have to pass it as a body. So, in, so, so here, Click on body here and in there, select raw and then for the text, let's select JSON because we want to pass JSON as a data into our route, our server and see. So open and close braces and here, what do we need? First, you need the name of the person. So let me call this one done two. Sorry, done. And then the next field, what do we need? Of our model we need email right and then let me say example example at gmail.com and what else do we need we need password okay so this is this is how we are sending data to our express application okay so when I click send you see that it's hanging no response because we are not handling a response to the client but when we switch to our uh, our terminal, as you can see, the body data has been passed. 
here. So here we have name, done, email, example, and a password. So this is how we pass data inside our X application. When I delete this line of code, let me comment this one, and then let's go back to our terminal. It started the lesson again. As you can see, nothing undefined because we didn't configure Express to pass in an incoming data. So an incoming data is how is a way of sending data to our application. Let's call incoming data. So Express need to handle in a different way by configuring this line of code. Okay, so now that we have this data coming in, so let me again, coming in here, we can use, we can create this user and then save it into our MongoDB database. All right, so let's see. So instead of request.body, let me delete everything here. And first, I can destructure the request.body, which is coming from request.body here. So if you go back to our console, we have name, we have email, and we have password, right? So I can say name, email, and then password okay so now I have the variables of data that is coming inside so what do I need I have to create an instance of our model and use mongoose method to create the user so I can say const user okay equal to I have to require I have to require um, mongoose sorry um, our model which is user okay the user that we created so let me see the model we want to import the model that we created so models here user okay so let me go back to my server here and then import that model so I can say user here okay auto import i have it here and for that matter i will say user dot i have all the mongoose method that we need so what we need now is create okay and for this create we can pass in the request dot body automatically like so but I want to pass in individually, so I'll pass in as an object and pass in the name, the email, and then the password, like so. Okay. So now that we finished create, we finished create an instance of our model. Since this is a promise base, we have to mark it and await because we mark our function as async. Okay. So now. When you console log user, this is what will come back after we successfully created this user. If something goes wrong, let me console.log this error. So for now, let me console.log the user that I created here. And then let me send back the response to the user. Okay, like so. So next, let's go to our postman and send this data. As we can see, wow, it has been created successfully. Let's go to our terminal. That's what it has been created. Let's go to our, our compass, refresh it. As you can see, while it's loading, let's see the new collection that we created called user. So wow, as you can see, we have our collection name called bookkeeping app and in there we have a users and we have one user called Don. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that is how we create a user and save it into our database. Okay. So now let's try to, since we mark all this field as required, when I delete this user and then I send, we have a beautiful error. Okay, inside our console, as you can see, user validation field. 
true because you mark the name as a required. And we can tweak our module a little bit. We don't want to create a user if the email is exist. So we have to attach inside our schema. Let's add additional property called unique, which is true. Okay, because if this email is created, we don't want anybody to have the same email. Okay, so let's go back again and then let's create DOM one. But in there, I will leave the email and see the error that will come back. Go back to our terminal. As you can see, we have additional error. Email is taken. That is the error that's coming back because this email is required. Sorry, it's unique. And we have this email being created. So let me say example two, and then let me cancel my request, send it, and I see we have it. When I send back again, let me go back to terminal, the same error. Example two is taking this value. Okay, so guys, this is how we create a user and save it into